Hi guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to take a good picture of the moon and stack it. Just a simple guide. What you need is a telescope, obviously. It can be any telescope, but here I have a 6 inch dub, a mobile phone, and an eyepiece. Now, the eyepiece uh, depends on what telescope you have. If you have more magnification, you have to use a lower number, a higher number, sorry. Uh, to fit the moon in the field of view today I'm going to use the mobile phone so it will be more because not many not all people have astronomy cameras like I have and other people have so I'm going to keep it, keep it simple the first and you need the phone adapter as well you put this cheap from AliExpress like five euros uh, the first thing I'm going to going to do is clamp the eyepiece with the with the phone adapter now when you clamp the phone to the adapter it needs to be aligned i highly recommend you align it when it's still daylight uh, the screen needs to look like this no no dark black edges or that round edge is okay because that's the eyepiece and now uh, put the eyepiece in and i will show you and uh, point the finder scope at the moon up there and I will show you what to do now I found the moon and I checked focus before I put the phone on it is in focus at the moment now what you want to do is uh, try to keep it centered don't if it leaves the view it won't be good uh, try to take like one minute maybe even half a minute video it's okay half a minute video of it moving through the field of view you don't need a tracking telescope for this uh, manual telescope it's okay so and i will adjust the brightness of it as well so it won't be too bright okay and start the video and I will do like a half a minute, like I said, something like that. Okay, my half a minute video completed. Now what I want to do is put the video to the laptop and use PIP, Auto Stacker, and Registax. Three programs that will sharpen the image and stack the image. So it will be very sh much sharper than a normal single shot. So now I go on the computer and open the software PIP. Put the video in it that we had from the mobile phone. Now from the bottom choose solar, lunar, full disk because it's uh, the moon is full, not just a part of the moon. And processing options remove cover, convert color to monochrome. And you can crop it so it will be smaller. And press test options on the top right like this is good quality options enable it and choose whatever you like i choose 25 percent output options um, avi or tiff doesn't make a difference and do processing and start processing now it will be a uh, pip what will do is what it will center the the video it will be the moon will be centered even if you don't have a tracking now open auto stacker and put the the file that pip uh, got ready for us. Okay, put it in there. Now uh, press analyze. It will analyze the the image. Now what this will do is stack the best frames and uh, give you the sharpest images image from the video uh, press TRT or 40 depends depends on the quality of the video and uh, press place AP grid and we'll, it will put a lot of boxes on the image and press stack now personally uh, for mobile phone videos I will drizzle there's a at the bottom there's drizzle on the auto stacker finished now and we open Registex and put the file 
logistics. Now the files will be if, if it will be in, like in my documents, that's where people will put them on my doc in my documents, for example. So that's where where you must search them. Where you had the first video that you put into pip. This is the final image from AutoStackard. Now the sliders on the left, you have to adjust left or right, uh, depending on how much sharpness you want. From Personally, with a mobile phone, don't sharpen too much because it will look horrible. Sharpen a bit and you, you can do some noise reduction as well. As you can see, I'm sharpening at the moment. The right, the right box is sharpened and the left box is noise reduction. And when you're finished with the changes, press do all and it will be, it will do the changes. You have contrast and brightness on the, on the right. I like to reduce the contrast a bit as well, so it's not too bright. Basically, this is to your taste. Depends how much sharpening you want and how much you want it to look. Every person is different how they want their image. You can auto balance as well with RGB balance. It will uh, get the color properly, not much because as you can see, it's a bit yellowish now. As you can see, I still adjusted a bit the sliders and on and on and on it goes. Uh, the top slider is the, the least one you have to adjust because the top slider sharpens a lot. Personally, I only use the last three. Because the first, the first three, they sharpen excessively in my opinion. And too much sharpness, trust me, it will look horrible. It's better you leave it a bit unsharpened than too much. Now I'm going to do the RGB balance, press RGB balance. And adjusting the contrast a bit as well, lowering it. RGB balance, you can press auto and that's it. But I, I'm going to adjust the color a bit because if you can see it's, it's a bit bluish. I'm going to lower the blue a bit. But if you like it yellow, the moon you can leave it yellow. Honestly, it's, it's okay. Press the wall again. And we'll wait for the, the software to do its thing. Really, it's very simple. And uh, this will give you uh, your image it will be better than just a single shot. Because a single shot, uh, you will have atmospheric wobble. That will ruin your, your image. It won't be as sharp as a stacked image. And I have an astronomy camera, it will be better what I did with a mobile phone because that's what most people have available and not everyone affords an astronomy camera. And you can do this with the DSLR as well. Now I'm going to save the image on my desktop and close the softwares. And I'm going to open the image here. As you can see, this is the final image. Looks pretty good from a mobile phone. You can do, uh, as you can see, this one is the, the final one. And hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys.